Good evening. Tonight, we're tracking a crisis at the heart of America. The Mississippi River's foundation is failing. Without warning, sections of the riverbed are collapsing, and the consequences are immediate. Satellite and drone footage reveal giant sinkholes swallowing the river from below, disrupting the water's flow and stranding barges. Towns are on high alert, and federal agencies are scrambling to assess the scope of this disaster. The Mississippi isn't just a river. It's the nation's central artery, vital to the economy, food supply, and daily life. Its collapse could trigger a chain reaction, impacting global trade and the water millions depend on. The first reports came in just 48 hours ago, dismissed at first as anomalies. But seismographs and sonar soon confirmed the river floor was vanishing into vast chasms. The USGS, typically cautious, is now in a state of declared emergency. Their scientists are working around the clock to answer, why is this happening? How far will it spread? Can it be stopped? The answers will determine the fate of millions. We'll break down the science, the economic fallout, and the human stories emerging from the river's edge. The Mississippi has shaped America's destiny for centuries. Now, its violent transformation presents one of our greatest challenges. The stability we've long taken for granted is gone, replaced by terrifying uncertainty. This is a moment that will be etched into our nation's history. The world is watching as America's river collapses. Stay with us as we uncover the truth behind this unprecedented disaster. The story is unfolding right now. To grasp the crisis, we must understand the Mississippi itself. Stretching over 2,300 miles, it drains 32 states and two Canadian provinces, connecting America's agricultural heartland to the world. It's the busiest commercial waterway in the U.S., moving over 500 million tons of cargo annually. Grain, oil, coal, and more. Hundreds of thousands depend on its steady flow for their livelihoods. When the river stops, so does a huge part of the American economy. Beyond commerce, the Mississippi is woven into the nation's identity, its history, music, and culture. Globally, the river's influence is immense. U.S. grain and energy products reach every continent from its ports. Any disruption sends shockwaves through international markets, affecting food prices, energy costs, and supply chains. The world relies on the Mississippi to be constant and predictable. Its collapse is not just an American problem, it's a global crisis in the making. The river's health reflects the nation's health. Tonight, that health is in jeopardy. The stakes could not be higher. The Mississippi has always been a force, creative and destructive. The Great Flood of 1927 devastated 27,000 square miles, displacing nearly a million people and reshaping American society. In response, the U.S. built the world's longest levee system, taming the river but at a cost. This control disconnected the river from its floodplains, altered sediment flow, and put immense pressure on the riverbed. Experts warned these interventions could have unforeseen consequences. The 2011 flood forced the Corps to flood rural Louisiana to save cities, revealing the system's limits. Decades of levees and dams have forced the river's energy downward, scouring the bed and starving it of new sediment. These measures, meant to provide stability, may have set the stage for today's collapse. The riverbed, weakened by a century of engineering, may have finally reached its breaking point. The echoes of past interventions are now reverberating in a terrifying way. History shows, when we push nature too far, it pushes back. The Mississippi is reminding us of its power. The crisis began quietly on November 15th, with strange readings near Memphis, a sudden 20-foot drop in the riverbed. At first, it seemed like a glitch, but soon, similar reports came from downstream. By the next morning, a 50-mile stretch south of Memphis was collapsing into a subterranean void. Barge pilots reported massive whirlpools. The Coast Guard issued a no-sail order, halting all commercial traffic. Panic rippled through the shipping industry as hundreds of vessels were trapped. USGS confirmed the riverbed was collapsing into underground cavities, and the process was accelerating. By November 17th, the collapse zone stretched 150 miles, with new sinkholes forming hourly. Water levels dropped in some areas, rose in others, creating a secondary crisis for communities relying on the river for water. The river is essentially eating itself from within. 
federal authorities are racing to understand the full extent of the danger. The situation is evolving by the hour. The USGS has become the nerve center of the federal response, activating its top geologists and deploying sonar boats and radar aircraft. Their mission map the collapse and predict where it might strike next. Dr. Alana Vega, USGS director, says a network of underground karst formations, caves and channels, has been breached and the river is eroding them rapidly. The Army Corps of Engineers is assessing levee stability, fearing the collapse could undermine their foundations and trigger catastrophic flooding. The Coast Guard is securing stranded barges. The EPA is monitoring water quality as decades of sediment and pollutants churn up. The USGS warns, this is a geologically novel event with no historical precedent. Communities along the Lower Mississippi are urged to prepare for possible evacuation. The federal government is struggling to get ahead of a disaster that's shifting the ground beneath their feet. The economic impact is immediate and severe. With 150 miles of river closed, over 700 barges are stranded, costing 300 million a day and rising. Rail and trucking can't absorb the cargo, creating a nationwide bottleneck. Farmers can't ship their harvest, storage is overflowing, local prices are plummeting, and global food prices are spiking. Thousands of jobs are at risk, from dock workers to barge crews. Communities face a dual threat, potential levee failure, and contaminated drinking water as pollutants churn up from the riverbed. Municipal water authorities are struggling, and a public health crisis looms. Politically, Washington faces questions about missed warnings and the risks of a century of river engineering. The crisis will require massive federal aid and a national conversation about infrastructure and environmental management. The collapse of the riverbed is triggering a collapse in the systems that depend on it. The ripple effects will be felt for years. For insight, we turn to Dr. Samuel Carter, a civil engineer and geologist. He explains, you can't constrain a river like the Mississippi for a century without consequences. The levees have turned it into a high-pressure fire hose, eroding the bed. The lower Mississippi sits atop soluble rock, limestone, protected by clay and sediment. Years of downward erosion have breached this layer. Now, the river is pouring into underground caverns, creating sinkholes that feed on themselves. Remedies? There are no easy solutions. Armoring the riverbed would be a massive, unprecedented engineering challenge. Carter also points to the New Madrid seismic zone. Minor tremors could have triggered the collapse. If seismic activity increases, the process could accelerate. We're in uncharted territory. The river is creating new geology in real time. The scale and speed of the disaster are beyond anything seen before. The scientific community is racing to keep up. Beyond the data, this is a story about people. David Chen, a third-generation farmer, faces evacuation. We've seen floods and droughts, but never this. The ground feels wrong. It's like the earth is coming apart. Maria Flores, a towboat deckhand, is stranded. We just sit and wait. We don't know when we'll move or get paid. The river was our livelihood. Now it's taking everything away. In Memphis, officials fear the collapse could contaminate the city's aquifer, threatening drinking water for over a million people. The city has issued urgent water conservation pleas, bracing for a potential environmental disaster. These are just a few stories from the crisis zone, stories of fear, uncertainty, and loss. A way of life passed down for generations is under threat. The river that gave so much is now taking it away. For the people of the Mississippi Valley, this is not just news, it's a personal catastrophe. They are looking to the nation for help and answers. We stand at a critical juncture. The collapse of the Mississippi Riverbed is a national wake-up call, a reminder of nature's power and our system's fragility. The immediate priority is public safety, supporting FEMA, USGS, and the Army Corps as they protect lives and provide aid. The economic and logistical challenges ahead are immense, demanding a unified national effort and massive investment in research and rebuilding. This disaster forces us to rethink our relationship with the environment and how we manage our great rivers. The food you eat, the goods you buy, the economy you depend on, all are connected to the river now in crisis. Stay informed, join the conversation, and support those affected. For now, from all of us, stay safe. Good night.